Carrot Church History The Carrot Church was originally built outside the walls of Constantinople, to the south of the Golden Horn. Literally translated, the church's full name was the Church of the Holy Saviour in the country. The last part of that name, Kera, referring to its location, originally outside of the walls, became the shortened name of the church. The original church on this site was built in the early 5th century and stood outside of the 4th century walls of Constantine the Great. However, when Theodosius II built his formidable land walls, the church became incorporated within the city's defenses, but retained the name Kera. The name must have carried symbolic meaning, as the mosaics in the narthex describe Christ as the land of the living, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, as the container of the uncontainable. The majority of the fabric of the current building dates from the period when Maria de Kina, the mother-in-law of Alexis I Chemnitz, rebuilt the Kara Church as an inscribed cross or consumx, a popular architectural style of the time. Early in the 12th century, the church suffered a partial collapse, perhaps due to an earthquake. The church was rebuilt by Isaac Chemnitz, Alexis's third son. However, it was only after the third phase of building, two centuries after, that the church as it stands today was completed. The powerful Byzantine statesman Theodore Metokits endowed the church with much of its fine mosaics and frescoes. The mosaic work is the finest example of the Paleologian Renaissance. The artists remain unknown. In 1328, Theodore was sent into exile by the usurper Andronicus III Paleologus. However, he was allowed to return to the city two years later, and lived out the last two years of his life as a monk in his carrot church. During the last siege of Constantinople, the icon of the Theticus Hodigitria, considered the protector of the city, was brought to Kera in order to assist the defenders against the assault of the Ottomans. Around 50 years after the fall of the city to the Ottomans, Adkali Pesa, the Grand Vizier of Sultan Bayezid II, ordered the Kera church to be converted into a mosque, Karijami. Due to the prohibition against iconic images in Islam, the mosaics and frescoes were covered behind a layer of plaster. This, and frequent earthquakes in the region have taken their toll on the artwork. Thomas Y. Temur and Paul A. Underwood, from the Byzantine Institute of America and the Dumbarton Oak Center for Byzantine Studies, sponsored a program of restoration. From that time on, the building ceased to be a functioning mosque. Ten years later it was opened to the public as a museum called Karim Uzizi.